Alright guys, this is how we're going to construct this doorway. If you've ever looked at a some kind of video showing an igloo, it has the round, you know, the round main part, then it has a little doorway. And that's basically what we're going to do. I've just, uh, and this is be like on a long-term survival trip you're going on, and you want to build one of these, say in the wintertime, and you want to really maximize the insulating uh, qualities. And you want to try the, using a shelter where you don't have to have a fire all night. Or let's say you don't have you, you want to um, you know not uh, not use your uh, high dollar sleeping bag and see how you fare you know just with say uh, winter clothes and uh, the debris shelter and try it out. So I've cut a couple of forked sticks and I've put them in the ground. They're about you know somewhere around a foot and a half, two feet. I didn't really measure. It. I mean, you can have a longer one, but you remember this is going to be where you're going in, and you're going to have to slide in on your back, and it's going to be a real tight fit. So this width is going to have to be this at least wide enough where you can get through. You don't want it too wide. Remember, the bigger the opening, the more chance of you losing heat and, and also cold air coming in. So I've got the forked sticks, and, I, and here I've got some cordage, and I've, I've tied my, my support to that uh, to this stick and to that stick coming off there. I'm simply going to lay sticks on top. I'm going to come off the sides kind of like I did with the ribbon on the debris shelter and then what I'll do is I, when I get that ribbon in place I'll make me a ribbon upward toward this triangle and then I'll cover all that in the debris so I've shut out all this uh, uh, airflow. Alright so that's, that's kind of what, what we're up to now. All right, guys. I ought to give you a good, a good look at uh, what I'm talking about. Let me, I want to make sure you see the whole thing. Basically, I've just uh, built me a kind of a doorway with the same kind of idea, using sticks laid up against, propped up against the the sides, and and just making it where I can throw debris on top of it. Okay. In order to cre create me a, a waterproof doorway. This is how this is going to play out. Okay, now I would continue doing this till I got. The amount of debris I wanted up here. And I would want these wall thicknesses the same as my as my other one. Okay? Alright, I'm going to work on that a minute and I'll uh, show you what it looks like here in a minute. Alright guys, let's, let's go around and look at this thing. I'll show you the finished product. Alright, try to give you the whole, the whole view. Alright, now this will be good for me in Alabama tonight. It's going to be probably, you know, around 40 degrees tonight, somewhere around there. It may dip down in the high 30s. But uh, this would be suitable for me tonight. Give you a, that's, that's the view from the back. I, I do believe that it would, uh, ha would indeed shed water 
from a, from the heaviest of rain. All right. All right, now here's my doorway now here I have several options again and the simplest one is just to have plenty of debris now I want you to really look and see what I've done here I don't know how much you can tell let's do this right here 